Lena walked home with an angelic yet slightly sly smile on her face. She knew that Maxim adored that smile, and now she had to suck up to her husband because Lena came home not alone, but with a small furry creature. It was not the first time Lena brought such surprises into the house, and one more ginger cat, nicknamed Rijun, stayed at home and at this time was sleeping peacefully on the armchair. Len, are you doing it again? Maxim said sternly. We agreed that you wouldn't bring anyone else. Max, what was I supposed to do? That little girl was squeaking pitifully at the door of our entrance. She would have frozen in the cold overnight. Don't worry, she'll stay with us only one night. Tomorrow I'll take her to the shelter, Lena said and showed her charming smile. She knew perfectly well that her husband could not be angry looking at her for a long time and used her feminine weapon. Max had to give in. They agreed that the cat would stay in the apartment, but only for one night, as Lena promised. What name shall we give her? How about Murka? Lena asked flirtatiously during dinner. What do you mean, what name should we give her? Why should we give her a nickname if the cat is staying with us for one night? Maxim said indignantly. That was the end of their conversation. Rizun paid no attention to the kitty at all. He only cast an arrogant glance at her, as if he wanted to say that his mistress had brought some little thing into their house. During the night, the little one settled under the chair. She only occasionally peered out with her sparkling, curious eyes. But when Max turned out the light, the cat came out of hiding. She saw that there were two bowls in the kitchen, one with water and one with food. She learned that when Rizhun sleeps, his snoring can be heard throughout the apartment. Max was sitting in the kitchen, holding the cat and whispering something to her in an affectionate voice. Lena heard the words, Well, Murochka, will you at least eat my fish, which I catch in the pond, because Rizon refuses to eat them? Lena approached Max from behind and suddenly hugged her husband. Well, shall we give her the name Murka, after all? She said playfully. All right, Maxime said confusedly. He resembled a schoolboy who had been taken by surprise with a cheat sheet. Of course, no one had given Murka to the shelter, and no one had any intention of taking her there. 